All right. Welcome to Cannibal Massacre by Fearscape. Let me read the itch synopsis for you. It says, Cannibal Massacre. You have to go to work. You're late as usual. Of course, there's a serial killer who's been stalking his claim in that area. One more day at work, right? Deal with customers. Keep your store clean. Don't worry about the occasional creepy phone call or that person staring at you through the front window. It's all part of the job. Well, that definitely sounds like it'd be up our alley. Um, there's a delightful little pig guy in the middle of the screen. I don't know if you can see him very well. And to the left, there is only a play and exit button. There are no settings. So if this is horribly loud, I will try to adjust that as soon as I can. But yeah, um, let's go massacre some cannibals. Marco. It's not terribly loud. Uh oh, it looks like I am. Oh. 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 Strange looking TV. What a good movie I just saw. Oh. Oh, fuck. I'm late for work again. I'll have to go fast. Our strange little warped TV here. Is there some loud footsteps? Hang on. I think I might attempt to fix that. Nah, it's not that bad. We're just going to run with it. Some trash. Man, this is a weird house that I live in. Nasty colors, too. Oh. oh, Why do they always have to pick throw-up colors in these games? Look at my couch. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, it's terrible. Let's go to work. That's pretty sad when I'd rather be at work. Ooh. Little micro-machine car. What's that, Geo Metro? Ah, uh, a gas station. A PSX gas station. Now we're home. Okay, I don't want to, I don't even want to hit escape considering that there are no menus. Uh, I feel like that might actually boot me from the game, so we're not going to do that. Alright, so we are working at the, oh, the six. Not the 7-Eleven, the... I can't even say late 6. No, I'm not sure. Oh, this ice looks so weird. It looks so psychedelic. Here we go. Oh! Uh, oh my god, sir. I scared you. Sorry. It's okay. Did you come to buy? Oh no, I didn't come for that. What do you need? Oh, I'm a detective. I want to tell you that there have been some missing people in this area. Really? And if something happens like harassment, suspicious things, or if they threaten to kill you, try to contact the police. Thanks for the advice. I will. Okay, sir detective. Thanks for the information. Goodbye. It's just turning me around automatically here. Oh, and he's gone. That was fast. <laughs> By the way, if people call in and want to kill you and murder you and, you know, make sure to call the police. Strange advice to give somebody. Here's a note. It says I have to clean the dirt from the floor. Oh, there we go. The hallmark of another... Or another hall hallmark of a good PSX game is cleaning. Particularly just cleaning crap off the floor like this. There we go. I've done this plenty of times. 
Plenty. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, it is always fun to look at what they choose to put on the shelves in these games. Ooh. None of them have titles, really. What is that? Beef tricky? Are those pot pies down on the bottom shelf? <laughs> no, I think they're ramen bowls. Um, ooh, we have Slurpees of all kinds. Okay. Let's continue to clean. There we go. There we go. Where do they call? Where do they call? Where? Where? Here? Where do they call? Where? I mean, I think you mean where's the phone? Where is the phone? I... Oh, it's in the back room, probably. Oh, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna grab this flashlight if I can, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 I'll pick that up in a second. Yeah, hmm. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's a Nokia. Yep, yep. See, he knows it's a Nokia, too. That was very strange. Wasn't it? I'm gonna punch out here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, we have a customer. I'll just shine this light in his face. Hello, sir. Oh, look at that goatee. Good afternoon, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. I just need these few items. Understood. Did you find everything you need easily? You need it easily? Yes, I heard there's a murderer loose in the area. It's really scary to think about that, right? Yeah, thanks for reminding me, the person here. Yes, it is very worrying. Let's hope the police catch him soon and put an end to this situation. Yes, definitely. Be careful and stay safe, too. Thanks, all the same. Here, have your articles. Take care of yourself. That's the thing about some of these PSX games. Some of them let you just, you know, click to advance dialogue. Some of them just advance automatically. Now I have to throw away all the trash. The trash? Where's the... What trash? In the back. Ah, the stinky trash. I guess that's another thing in PSX games. Is you always got stinky trash bags to put in some dumpster outside. I'll just keep my flashlight on, though, because I don't know how to put it away. Uh, hello, are there any cannibal murderers out here? Uh, yeah. I'm guessing that's a no. One, only two more. Two more trash. So strange that I go to work and then I come here to play these games. And then I do more work within these games. Uh, it's kind of... Kind of depressing. Another bag? Hello? Is anyone going to come scare me anytime soon? We are due for a jump scare. At some point here. Is that a bean bag? What are they throwing out here? Only one more trash. Only one more. Only one more. We're almost there. Oh, another customer. Hello. I'll be with you in a moment, sir. Or ma'am. Still throwing trash out. Oh, they want me uh, to talk to them first. I wish I knew how to put my flashlight away, but that is an impossibility at this point, I think. They look relatively normal, right? Hello, miss. Are you going to buy something? I can go to the bathroom? It's very necessary. <laughs> Obviously, miss. You don't have to ask that. Obviously. 
I'm peeing. I have to go to the bathroom quickly. <laughs> what? Am I the lady now? Where's the bathroom? Around back or what? Oh, it's outside. Since when is the bathroom detached from the gas station? Like you have to go to another building. Uh, Prepping for jump scare. Jump scare soon. Jump scare real soon. Hello? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. Last trash and we close here. Except for the pig guy who's hanging out in the women's bathroom. I assume he's going to keep us from closing. Good thing I stopped peeing. That was stressful. It wasn't like I have to pee. She was like, I am peeing now. Oh, I'm trying to go in the bathroom. I need to throw this away. Here we go. Can I go in the bathroom yet? Nope. Look at the dense jungle that I live in. Where am I? The Yucatan Peninsula? Maybe. Coming around, coming around. Hang on, sir. Hang on, sir. Be patient. What is that? A VHS? We have VHSs at this store? I don't even know that. Hello. Good afternoon. We do not sell VHS. I don't know where you got it from. I do not know. Where did you get that, sir? I don't want that. It's for you. Really? Hmm. I don't know if accepting this would be... would If my boss would punish me. Tell him it's a special gift. Well, I think I'll accept it. It's from a movie or something like that. I said it was something special. Well, I think I'll accept it. Bye, I have to close. What a good sir. I wonder what the VHS is about. I do wonder. I do wonder what it's about. Can I close the door? No. Do I have a security camera up here? Look, it kind of looks like it's... No, maybe not. Uh, do I have a VHS player somewhere? I mean, there's a camera. There is... Hmm. Maybe it's at the front. Are any of these VHS players? No. Nope. We are out of luck. Let's just stroll outside. Maybe we'll just take it home with us. Yes, let's take it home. Let's see the VHS of that guy. Let's see. Let's see. Alrighty. Uh, I don't see the VHS player, but I'm ready. What the fuck is this? That guy is crazy. Who is that? Who will it be? That's some dead guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Just rang my doorbell, came in like that. Where I'm? Where am I? And, um, let's see. I suppose we could be somewhere in Mexico, considering that the developer is Spanish. So, shout outs to Fearscape. Uh, where? Oh, there's a key here. Needs a key. Needs a key. I, yeah, I know. The key needs a key. Needs a key. Hang on, what? Oh, that was weird targeting for that key. Thought I was gonna be stuck here forever. Okay, boom. I have to escape from this place right away. 
You don't say. Where? What is this? VHSs? Oh, they make VHSs of like people they kill, and then give them as a gift to the people they're about to kill. That that's pretty sinister. I was this someone they killed? Oh no! Now I'm in a saw movie. Let's see. Slop sink. Oh, with a key in it. No. Uh, maybe we can unlock this. Okay. I mean, they've these keys are. I think I'm coming. I'll hide under. I think it's coming. I'll hide under something. Hide under something. Oh yeah, I found it. Thank God. All right, I'm ready for the survival horror tonight. Mr. Piggy. Am I supposed to be like making moves? I think he's gone. I have to leave this place. I I, I don't want him to get me. Just he's going to. I'm not supposed to be up here. Uh oh. Many VHSs. I mean this guy's house is nicer than mine. Uh you think you can't go through this door. I wonder if this is going to turn into hardcore survival horror and I have to like run around this house opening and closing doors. If so, it's not going to be... Oh, no, 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 no. I really don't want to glitch a game. I don't want to glitch a game at this point. That's disgusting. This is the grossest bathroom I have ever been in in my life. Look at that. Oh, God. The bathtub is literally full of feces. Oh, uh, all the poop that should have been in the toilets in the bathtub. This is like the bathtub from the, you know, the end of the Silence of the Lambs when you see where that lady was. Uh, like, oh, Buffalo Bill, like, took the house from that lady and put her in the bathtub and she, like, melted in the bathtub. It's disgusting. Okay, what door do we open now? Can't go through this door. I can't? Needs a key. Oh, we're gonna look for a key. Better not be a key. Oh, there's a key by the toilet. Phew. Oh, I'm not gonna like this. Oh, I knew it. Oh, I knew it. game was a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Hang on, let me try to, you know, wait out the credits here for a second. Because I think it should come right back around to the title screen. Thanks for play. No problem, Fearscape. It's pretty good. Oh, we'll see if it keeps on making this booping noise. Have to, yeah, gonna have to awkwardly try to get. Oh no, there it goes. All right, so that was uh, what was it called? A Cannibal Massacre by Fearscape. We played a, a Fearscape game a while back. I, I'm forgetting what. Um, I think it was. Was it uh, Haunted? ride drive home or something like that i think it was that was a fearscape game i might i'm sorry if i'm wrong i'll have to double check um but yeah so that one was about cannibals or a cannibal that had a pig head on that came and abducted me from work and uh, i assume killed me after that um as usual i like all the uh typical psx uh, stuff about like you know working at a gas station cleaning the floor going through all that there's a million games like that what was cool about this one was um i liked how the killer visited the store and gave you a tape of somebody that they had murdered and like as a strange kind of like greeting card for you 
and then uh, you know you were abduct abducted after that and you got to see all the VHS tapes and the, pe the person that they had just killed on the table probably the person on the tape so I thought that was uh, a nice little touch because I haven't seen that before so that was creepy um, the pig guy with the head was definitely creepy um, probably could have thrown in some more like I think they were going for more of the subtle jump scares you know not like overdoing it with the music or something like that but I think it could use like a little touch of uh, something uh, there for the jump scares to make them jump just a little bit because I'm the type who doesn't jump like all the time at them I definitely will if something just catches me by surprise but I think I ease into those ones pretty good so um other than that pretty simple story uh and what what is their playtime so far about 20 minutes 15 minutes or something like that so it was good right in there just how i like them so thanks for your escape was really happy to play this one and uh keep on putting more of them out i'll definitely play more of them from you uh I think one thing I wanted from this one though was maybe a settings menu so that I could get the resolution right and everything because my monitor is extra wide so I, I would like to set it to like 1920 by 1080 or something so I get it to look right because it was cutting off some things on the side but other than that that was uh, definitely checks all the boxes for what I consider to be a pretty fun PSX game because there's just a little bit of um, what do you call it there's not too much uh, crazy story going on and there's just like this right balance of setting uh, that makes it kind of creepy and stuff so I like and I like simple stories so that was good I, I was curious though about um, who else the pig guy must have killed he killed the lady right but we didn't see what happened to the lady so that would have been cool if we like uh you know woke up and then maybe the lady <laughs> i don't know maybe they were killing the lady or something where they were chopping her up or you know cannibalizing the lady yeah that would have made more sense i think right because it is uh cannibal massacre right so maybe we should have saw some actual cannibalism of that woman that they abducted or killed in the bathroom so that would have been a nice little bow on top i think that would make the the ending sequence just a little creepier and thankfully, yeah, I didn't have to do, like, uh, crazy survival horror running around at the end. I just finding a bunch of keys. And that wasn't so bad. Although the targeting on some of the keys was difficult. You had to, like, click it on the end of the key rather than just in the middle of the key. So that might be something to address moving forward. But yeah, thanks so much, Fearscape, for this one. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah, if you made it this far in the video, thanks so much for watching. Um... This is uh, a small channel right now, but thanks to you clicking on this and liking it if you want, or even following if you want, help it to grow um, just a little bit more. And thanks a lot for dropping by. I'll find another game to play and I'll see you all later. All right, see ya.